guys, so I'm here today to do my June and July favorites video for you. It, I don't know where June went, it kind of disappeared, and then July, by the time I was like, oh, I forgot to do my June, it was like halfway through July, so I was like, I should just do both in one video. Why am I flaring my nostrils? So yeah, we are here to do my June and July favorites. So this favorites video is full of so many different random things and I'm talking super random because that's just my style. I like to be random <laughs> and yeah, we might as well just get right into it. So we'll start off with beauty stuff since that's kind of what these videos like started as was like beauty videos. Look how cute this bag is. Did I ever show you guys this? It says, you're phenomenal, Kelly. I love personalized things, and it's only because growing up, I always wanted, like, personal, personalized keychains and, like, those stupid uh, license plates that you get in touristy places, but nobody ever spelled my name right. My name is K-E-L-L-I, but everywhere I went, it was either Y, E, Y, or I, E, which blows me away, because I'm like, why is I, E more common than just plain old... I. Like, I've been called Kelly before, and I'm like, no, it's just Kelly. Kelly with an I. Kelly with an I. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've introduced myself as, hi, I'm Kelly with an I. And I felt real dumb doing it. I don't know why, I just thought I'd share this little bag. I forget where I got this from. Oh, I think Vita, Vita Liberata sent this to me in a PR package, but I don't know. I'm ultra obsessed with like things that say my name when it's spelled right, because yeah, as a child I never got those things. But anyway, so moving on to our first product. You guys should probably not be surprised by this. It's the L'Oreal Glam Bronze thingy, bronzer. Uh, I've been using this the last two months. I used this in that Get Ready With Me when I just showed you guys my summer makeup, which, funny enough, I'm not wearing today. I actually did a full face today because I was bored and wanted to play with makeup again. Uh, but this is the L'Oreal Paris, like I said, Glam Bronze bronzer for face and body. I'm not sure exactly all the locations you can get this from, but I got mine at Kroger's, just drugstore type of thing. You could probably get it at Ulta. I know they sell it at Walmart. They don't sell it at Target though near me, so I don't know what that's about. But yeah, I really, really like this stuff. It works really, really well. It just kind of gives you a sun-kissed glow, which coincidentally, that's what it says exactly on the back verbatim. I promise I did not read that though. Next in my bag of favorites is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade 7.0. That is what I'm wearing today. I mentioned in my first impressions video last month that Urban Decay sent me two shades of this in 4.0 and 4.5 and I used it, if you guys remember that video, I was very, my skin was not matching. It was not matching at all. I was bronzer heavy on the forehead. I was light everywhere else trying to like figure out how to make the shade work for me because I really wanted to try it. And I mentioned in that video that I love this foundation. I'm not a full foundation type of girl. I usually like just kind of my skin to look show through. I like lightweight. I use my bare mineral stuff for years. Like you guys know me. I am not a full coverage girl, but I really like this foundation. It is so lightweight. It is so smooth. It blends in really nicely. It dries really fast though. I will warn you about that. I like to use a damp beauty blender uh, to put it on my face because it does dry very fast, but it is so awesome. It is extremely mattifying. It is extremely sweat proof. Like I usually by now since it's summer and especially because I'm wearing a scarf because it is it's cool out but right now it's muggy so it's this like in between which is that's why I'm like tank top and scarf. Usually I'm like greasy glossy face by now in the day. It's like three o'clock but I actually look very matte. I have not powdered at all. Like this stuff is amazing. If you have dry skin, I would not suggest this for you, but it's amazing. It's so, so good for summer. And you know, if you go out clubbing, not that I do, because this is what I dance like, so that's why I don't go clubbing. But if you're going out all night, hanging out, sweating up, like this stuff is amazing. The 4.0 and the 4.5 were way too light for me, so they sent me actually some shades that actually fit me. So I believe I have 6.5, 7.0, which is what I'm using right now, and um, 7.5. 7.5 is a little bit too dark for me. The 7.0 is perfect in regards to the rest of my body. I'm hoping that I can mix some of this with the 4.0 uh, as I get lighter throughout the winter to kind of help it keep, you know, matching me. But I love, love, love this foundation. Like, I love it. Look how nice it looks. It just looks so good. Love it. And it's so lightweight. Like, I don't feel like I have, like, an extra layer of anything on. It just feels very, very nice. So, I like that. Next favorite of mine, what's in here? I can't see. It's like a fun surprise. The next favorite of mine is the Makeup Geek Infatuation. This blush is amazing. This is what I'm wearing today. I've talked about this blush numerous times since they sent it to me last year. It's got a lot of wear and tear on it. The packaging is just so beautiful. I love everything about it. Their blushes are amazing. I have 
two or three of their blushes and Infatuation is my favorite because it goes year round for me. It's just a very nice uh, bronzy matte blush. It's it's beautiful and it fits for all different skin types. Like I've seen YouTubers with very fair skin use it to very dark to my tan and it's just gorgeous. So I've been loving that. What else is in here? This is so much fun. It's like a nice little surprise. Oh, next is my MAC blush. I have three different blushes that I've been going through for the last two months. And this is the MAC blush in Eternal Sun. I, can you see? I hit pan. Look at that little silver spot right there. I'm always so excited when I hit pan in something, especially something that I bought myself because it really makes me like feel like I got my money's worth. There's so many times when I've either given away, sold, or just like gotten rid of stuff that's gone bad that I never hit pan on and I always feel this sense of guilt like oh my gosh why did I waste my money on that if I wasn't gonna use it all the time kind of thing. I believe I got this when I was visiting Sam I want to say two years ago and uh, Aubrey, a fellow YouTuber who worked at MAC offered to take me and uh, let me use her employee discount and I got this and a few other blushes and this is the one that I've used like nonstop and I absolutely love it. I can't believe I hit pan. It kind of makes me a little bit sad. I'm like, man, now I'm going to have to go buy another one. But it just does the perfect like flushed look. I like to wear this when I'm doing my no makeup looks. If I want more of a matte no makeup look, I'll just brush some of this on my cheeks and just go out the door. And then I also can wear it with a full look and I can wear it year round as well. It's just really, really pretty. And then the other blush that I've been loving is the Josie Marin Argan Infinity Leap Lip Lip, <laughs> Lip and Cheek oil. You guys know I mentioned this in my get ready with me. I think I mentioned it in another video as well. This stuff is amazing. I absolutely love it. This is in the color Limitless Pink. It just applies really nicely to the cheeks and it gives you just this nice uh, glowy um, dewy look for no makeup looks. I sometimes when I have absolutely no makeup on whatsoever I keep this in my purse and I'll put some on my cheeks just to give me a little bit of a flush and kind of glow and then I'll put the rest on my lips because it gives a really nice natural like glossy lip as well but it's just really 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 nice. I like it. I just like that it's so all-purpose and I can use it um, just when I'm on the go and all of that. I don't use it when I have like a full face on. I'll stick to powders for that like a foundation foundation but like I said I'll use this for my no makeup looks or literally when I'm not wearing makeup I'll put this on. Last but not least for beauty looks like are these tweezers. These are the social eyes tweezers. They're just eyelash tweezers. They have a nice curve to them so you can grab onto your lash and right next to your lash line and kind of push together your false lash with your natural lash. I also like them because you can kind of put the corners in nicely. I mentioned like four months ago when I did that lash video that I wanted to buy some of these and see what the big like thing was about them because so many people use them and honestly I do still apply my lash with my fingers but I like these to kind of adjust and again just to squeeze my lash together with my fake lash. So they work really really well. They were very affordable. I got them from Amazon Prime I think too and I've been loving those because they've just made you know putting my lashes on a lot more natural looking because they are so close to my lash line which I love. I have athletic-y type thing that I didn't know if I was going to mention but so many people asked me about them in a snap that I did a few days ago are yoga pants that I've been really loving. So these are brand new because they just came in the mail literally today but I have a pair of light purple ones of these and they are amazing. This is the ones that I snapped about and you guys were like oh my gosh where'd you get them and the reason why I love them so much is because they are an exact dupe for Lululemon um, naked whatever whatever leggings that are like overly expensive. So I'm gonna admit something to you guys. I went and I purchased against all of my better judgment, I went and I purchased these super stupid expensive pants from Lululemon. We have a store nearby and I went and I tried them on and I'm like, oh, these do feel really good, you know? And I was kind of in this bad, as you guys know, after the car accident, I was kind of in this like weird, just like depressed mood. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy these. They're gonna make me feel better. I don't care what people say. Sometimes spending money does make you feel better. I'm sorry, sometimes it does. I know it's not the healthiest thing, but it made me feel better at the time. So I bought these pants, I took them home. I have a bunch of Lululemon shirts, but I've always gotten them either on super clearance or from ThreadUp because I do kind of have a problem supporting Lululemon just because their old CEO is such a D-bag and because they're so overpriced. But like I said, I was in a weird mood and I was like, I'm gonna buy these. <laughs> I never owned like an expensive thing from Lululemon. So I was really expecting these things to basically make my butt look better, my legs look better, my life be better, and buy me some chocolate by the end of the day. Like I, I expected these pants 
to be amazing. And even though they fit really nicely and they did make my body look nice, they literally started unraveling after two hours of wear. So I'm like, I spent almost $100 on these like yoga pants. Like they should not be falling apart already when I've owned TJ Maxx yoga pants for three years and they still look brand new. I took them back to the store. This story, I don't know where the store is coming from. I, I did not mean to sit down and talk this much about it. But I took them back to the store and the lady's like, oh yeah, this actually happens a lot. Um, what we can do is we can send them to our seamstress and those and they'll fix them and they'll send them right back to you free of charge. Like it's no big deal at all. And I'm like, why do I seem like you're doing me the favor? Like right now I have a pair of pants that still have the receipt from yesterday that I wore for two hours and you're acting like you're doing me the favor by going and getting them fixed because this happens often with these hundred dollar pants. Like I was so confused by the way she was talking to me. And basically I looked her in the face and I said, so you're telling me that it's normal for brand new hundred dollar Lululemon pants to just start unraveling. And she goes, yeah, it happens a lot and we just send them in and get them fixed and everybody's happy in the end. And I'm like, well, I'm not happy. If these are unraveling after two hours of wear, after I just bought them, then I don't want them. Whether you fix them or not, I don't want them. Like that just is scary to me because what happens six months down the line when they start unraveling again or a year? Like a hundred dollar pair of yoga pants better last me more than a year or two. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. So she basically looked at me and she was like, well, you can keep bringing them back. I'm like, I don't want to keep bringing them back. Like, I don't want to keep bringing them back. That's just time out of my day. So I returned the pants because I just was like, it wasn't worth it. It was not worth, like I should not have to work for my yoga pants. My yoga pants should work for me. So I took them back and went on with the rest of my day. And then I found these Yogalicious purple pants at TJ Maxx. At first I thought they were Lululemons because they had the same kind of like circle emblem in the back. I bought them, they're $19.99 and they fit exactly, and I'm talking exactly like the ones that I bought from Lululemon. They fit the same, they look the same, and they felt exactly the same. Now those were like a dusky purple and again they were identical, but I went online and looked to see if you know they sold them online and I did find some pairs on Amazon. They had like a hot pink one and they also had a black pair for $19.99 as well, which is how much I got from TJ Maxx, the purple ones, and so I ordered them. Now I will say that these black ones that I just got in the mail, they don't have the exact same feeling as the purple ones, which are identical to the Lululemon feeling ones. They are a little bit, they aren't as soft and they are just a tiny bit thicker, but they are still really, really nice, especially for being $19.99. I also really like that they are high-waisted. They are super high-waisted. Like I have seen pants that will say that they're high-waisted, but they don't come past the belly button. These are high-waisted, which is why I wanted the Lululemons because they are so super high-waisted. So I will say that the Yogalicious purple ones, which are in the wash right now, so I can't show you, are my favorites for this month but I do really like the black ones even though they're not identical feeling wise to them they are still very thin they are they do still look really nice on me and make my butt look good and again they have these super high waist and they were only $19.99 and they shipped Amazon Prime so boom Lululemon take that I don't hate Lululemon let me just say that I don't hate Lululemon and I will continue wearing my Lululemon shirts and maybe possibly in the future shop there for something other than their pants but I just think it's ridiculous how expensive their pants are considering they fall apart after two hours or can fall apart after two hours and it's normal for them so yeah moving on to another favorite of mine for this month I've mentioned this before did I mention this in my first impressions video I don't remember but they are the teamy tees I shouldn't say tees plural because because I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the teamy alive I don't really see a difference in like my mood or energy by drinking it it's not a bad tea so I'll continue drinking it especially throughout the winter and fall but it's just not anything special but the relaxed tea has actually been a favorite of mine so teamy tees if you're not familiar are those things that are all over Instagram and every Everybody and their mom promotes them and all of that and affiliate links this and sponsored videos that but they're not sponsoring this video they did send me these teas in this cup for free just for me to say my opinion of them and I shared that in the first impressions video but I will say that the teamy relaxed tea is a favorite of mine I've really been liking it 
I've been having a hard time sleeping ever since the car accident months ago. Um, it's gotten better, but I still struggle with uh, insomnia and all of that. And then also whenever I hit my period, I'm like awake until five o'clock in the morning for some reason. So I've really been enjoying Teamy Tea because it has actually helped me relax. I really like the taste of it as well. And I like that it's loose leaf. And then the cup, I, I don't know what I, how I feel about this cup. I mean, it's cute. I like that it's double walled so I don't burn my hand or anything like that. I like that they offer different colors and that there's this little carrying strap. And I like that the infuser, like this comes apart and you can wash it. And then there's like a tea basket infuser right here so you put your loose leaf teas in in this and then you put that in and then it strains it while you drink it I like all of those things but I hate the fact that it's not leak proof like there's this little lid right here and it snaps down but if this dumps like this or is on its size it still leaks which I don't really understand like why not just make the cup leak proof if you're gonna make it look like it's leak proof um, so I'm not I don't know how I necessarily like feel about the cup um, I like it and it makes drinking the teas easier, but I don't like love it, you know what I mean? I don't know. I, I like the cup, but that's, yeah, I don't know. I just want to, I don't know. I like the cup, and I guess it makes a really nice Instagram picture, you know, like, hey, look at me and my teamy teas. But the, the relaxed tea is what's really been my favorite. I do like it, I do drink it, I will purchase more of it. Um, they might send me more, who knows how this company works, I don't know. But if they don't send me more, I will be buying more of this tea. It just, it tastes really good and it was really helpful for me to use while, you know, to unwind and relax, especially when I was on my period and all of that. I also drink it as well after me and John get in big fights because me and John do fight, guys. We are like fight night, Monday night football. I don't know sports. We do fight and when we get in fights I do like to kind of relax and settle down in my own space and this has been really helpful for that as well. But yeah so I do really like the Teamy Relax Tees. I will mention again they did send this to me for free for my honest opinion. I do have a uh, coupon code for you guys which is also an affiliate link for me so I do get a percentage of sales of whatever you buy. You do not by any means need to use it. I am not sharing this product for you to use it. I am just telling you it has been a favorite of mine. Um, but yeah, if you want to use that link, obviously any amount of money that comes into my bank account helps me and my family and helps me make these videos. So it'd be awesome and appreciated. But again, you don't have to use that link, but I do have a coupon code for you. So we both kind of benefit. Last but not least, I do have two more drink things to share with you. The first one that has been a favorite of mine is Argo Teas. And I'm only sharing this because I don't know if Costco is going to stop selling these soon. I think these might be a summer thing because they did have the asterisk on the price tag, which means that it's not going to be carried all year round and these are amazing this is the argo tea and hibiscus tea sangria it's got a medley of berries and orange hibiscus tea and crisp apple if you like iced teas this is the bomb i love this stuff i bought three cases of it because it's so expensive to buy individually at the gas station or at stores and i believe i got 12 for like 16.99 they are amazing i love them i love that they come in glass bottles so i can recycle them and there's no metal or plastic i love that it tastes really good and I love that it's caffeine free. I am caffeine free as you guys know I've been caffeine free mostly 99% caffeine free since I don't know it's been a long time like three years now um, so it's hard for me to find teas that are caffeine free so I was really excited to find this and it just tastes so good like it's so good and refreshing it's like my nice little treat I keep them in the refrigerator and then they make me feel special and I love them and then the last thing that's been a favorite which I don't know how comfortable I feel sharing alcohol on my channel because you know there are a lot of impressionable people following me who are not of age to drink but I am also 30 years old and this is my channel and it's a lifestyle channel and this is my life so I feel like I can share that but I do want to put a PSA out there real quick and say just wait to drink until you're legal like just wait there's nothing super exciting about drinking honestly there's not I honestly can say that I regret more of the times that I drank in my past than I do the times that I did drink like the bad did not outweigh the good so just wait like save your money don't waste money on alcohol or people who want you to waste money on alcohol like just enjoy life sober until you can legally drink responsibly uh, but with that being said my favorite this month um, has been this vodka a lot of you guys were asking me when I had when we had our staycation 
why I liked Tito's vodka and if it was good and all that jazz. Uh, Tito's handmade vodka is like one of my favorite liquors. I'm not a heavy drinker, you guys know that. John's made numerous comments about me wasting alcohol because I'll start a drink and I won't finish it. And it's because I'm not a heavy drinker. I don't like to not feel in control of my body or my brain or my mouth because as you guys know, I say a lot of stuff sober that I probably shouldn't say. So can you imagine what I'm like when I'm drunk? <laughs> so I don't like feeling that way. I don't like the way I feel the next morning after I drank too much, but I do like the occasional drink and um, yeah, so this is the vodka that I really like. This stuff is just really good. It's very smooth. It, it blends well into other flavors for mixed drinks. Like whenever I have a Bloody Mary, I always ask for Tito's because it just blends really well. I don't feel like it tastes super vodka-y, you know, like I don't have that like ethanol, is that the right word? Like taste or like feel. Um, it's just very, it's a nice smooth vodka. Uh, and I like drinking that with the, the Ocean Spray Sparkling Cranberry Juice amazing these two things together like they oh when they get together it happens guys it happens i do one kind of stingy shot of tito's because again i'm not a heavy heavy drinker and i like to sometimes have more than one so if i do like a stingy shot it's not like woo, you know i'm still good and then i do a one full can of this on top of ice and it's just like the perfect combination tito's goes really well like i said with any other like mixed drink and it's just very smooth and it just tastes really good and the sparkling aspect of it is really refreshing so that has been my go-to summer drink same with john he really likes it and I also like that it's not terribly terribly bad in regards to sugars and all of that because you guys know I am trying to be healthier I'm running training for my half marathon John's trying to lose weight you guys know I love beer and I love whiskey like if I could have a shot of choice I love Jameson on ice I love me and me and Jameson go a long way uh, and I love beer I love stouts I love porters I love beer but they make me gain weight real fast. This has been my drink of choice lately and it's very very tasty and yummy and if you're looking for an adult beverage this summer I would highly suggest you try it. But again if you're underage just wait guys really just wait. When I enjoy a drink it is in the safety of my home and or around the safety of my friends in a safe spot and I never drive drunk. Don't drive drunk. Don't. Just don't do it. It's not worth it guys. It's definitely not worth it and I don't go overboard. And when I go overboard, in the rare times that I go overboard, again, I'm in the safety of my home or somebody else's home or with a safe driver who has not been drinking. So yes, just the mom in me just really feels like I need to say all of those things right now. So there you have it. There are my favorites for you guys. Kind of random, sorry about that, but what are you gonna do? I guess not watch these videos if you wanted, but I would highly not suggest that because sometimes I do have some good favorites you guys know. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. If you like videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I upload every two to three times a week about anything and everything. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you as always for watching my videos. It means the world to me. And we're almost to 80,000 subscribers, which I think is awesome. I cannot wait to get 100, just because then I can say I have 100,000 subscribers. Not that that really means anything, because I still only have like 5,000 views per video, which is perfectly fine by me. I like my little bubble, but you guys know me, I'm all about numbers and 100,000 just sounds like a really good goal to get to this year. So I will talk to you all later and that's about that because I feel like, as always, I've gone overboard and talked too much. So see you in my next video.